Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I have a tip specially for administrators, for CRM administrators. And that's because I want to talk about the administrators that work for those organizations that heavily leverage teams inside of Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. And I think this applies mostly to large organizations, but I've seen even some small to medium sized organizations that are heavily using teams. And if you're not aware of this, or if you're watching this for the first time, when you go into a user, you have a section for teams this user is a member of. And so you can see, because I'm using a trial environment, it's essentially just one team in there, but I've, I've seen organizations that have dozens and dozens of teams in here, which means that every time they hire somebody, which in large, I mean, the larger the company, the more often, I guess it happens. Um, they have to spend a long time adding people to teams. And if you have hundreds and hundreds of teams on a list, then it makes it difficult, right? You can spend five, 10 minutes per user. And again, if you have a high churn or if your organization is growing really fast and you're adding people, it can literally take hours and hours of your week as an administrator. So I wanted to give you a tip that will speed this up. That will make this super simple. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So essentially what I did is I created a workflow and let me show it to you. This workflow is called sales teams membership. And again, I'm going from the uh, perspective of an organization that perhaps is like all over the, the nation uh, in the US. Um, in this case, this will be for a Florida. I just picked one state, Florida, uh, but this workflow can grow really big. So essentially, if you look at my check condition in here, it will say, look, if the user's business unit equals Florida sales, so they are within the Florida sales business unit, and the job title contains the word sales, meaning sales representative, sales manager, sales whatever, outside sales, inside sales, doesn't matter. If it has the word sales in it, then go ahead and continue, right? Execute. So what I'm doing in this case is I'm, I'm actually using one of the steps from Andrew Butenko's Ultimate Workflow Toolkit, which is a free tool we've covered multiple times in this channel. And within the tool, there's actually a step. And let me show you the step in here. I won't add it, but if you go into the security section right here, notice that there's a step to add users to Teams. There's also steps, by the way, to remove users from Teams. So if you wanna enhance this functionality, maybe you say, okay, look, if I change business units or I move to another state, remove them from all those Teams and reprocess this thing, right? You could do that. But in this case, I just kept it simple. I just said, you know, you want to add the user to the Florida sales team, also add the users to the Southeast sales team, also add the users to, well, in this case, this is, I typed this wrong, so you can see this is live. Let's say uh, North America sales team, for example. Uh, but you can see the whole point is you can have a hundred of these lines, whatever. It doesn't matter how many of them, and it will go ahead and add it to all those teams. I'll show you, look, I'm going to go into one of these to show you how it looks. So if you go into the user, I said, pick the user that is the subject of this workflow and add it to the Florida sales team. Obviously on the other lines, you will have all the other different teams. But the point is when you create a user or when you change the business unit or the job title, right? You can see business unit in there or the job title of a user, this workflow will be triggered and it will find the right condition that matches your new criteria and it will just go ahead and process and add that user to all those teams, making your job super, super simple. It actually takes the same amount of time to add somebody to 10 teams or 80 teams or whatever it is. So if you're heavily using teams within your organization, then go ahead and you know, leverage workflows, and this, by the way, should be organization, but go ahead and leverage workflows to automatically add the user to the teams. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip, and we'll see you next week.